and enjoying me. Lots of traveling this week. Yes, we made it back. Even went up to Nashville from New York City all the way back south to Nashville to the Sweat Lodge today. Yay! So just coming back in, getting myself squared away. What a beautiful day. What an awesome trip. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing after this vacation week? All right. Lots of traveling out there. Lots of storms brewing. Lots of energy shifting. Come on and enjoy me tonight. We're going to chat about the month, about the week, about some shifts in the cosmic forces that are going to be setting us up for the new year. So come on in and join me. Share it out. Let me know you're here. Give me a thumbs up. Hello. Bendy Brown Lady, is that you, Ashley? Give me a thumbs up if you're over here. All right, Anna, I see you. I see you guys coming in. I think I've shared it. I think I've shared it over here in my Empowered Spirit Circle. Let me know if you can see me. Give me a thumbs up, some hearts. As we come in and take this time to focus our energy for the week. All right, I'm getting some hearts. I'm getting some likes let me just make sure that we are sharing it over here in the empowered spirit circle and if you're not in my circle come join us it's on facebook we talk about the cosmos we post information not sure i'm seeing it there we go all right yay all right pulling our energy in welcome welcome everyone terry Ann hyman here this is my live video stream for my Empowered Spirit show, which is normally a podcast, but on Sunday nights I come on live on video to talk about the cosmos for the week, to look at our energy, to pull it in as we go back to work. And we do pull some cards and look for guidance for the week. So come on in and join me if you can. Let's take a few moments to do this. What a crazy week, right? All the holiday energy. Maybe you had family, maybe you didn't. I know holidays can be very intense. I know for myself, too, they can be very intense, and this year we changed it up a little bit. And I actually had the time to go back to New York, to where I lived, and for so many years, and reflect on so many different paths that I've been on. My children were there, kind of set some new traditions, although we reflected on some of our old ones. So it was a really good opportunity to reflect on life. And that's exactly where the cosmos are right now. As we move into this energy, the big news in all the astrology world is tomorrow we move into... Capricorn, which has been in Sagittarius for years, moving into Cap Capricorn is moving into Jupiter. All right, let's get this straight. All right, come back here. Jupiter is moving into Capricorn, and for the past year, it's been in Sagittarius, so we've had a lot of that luck and that adventure, that expansion, and now we're going to kind of shift gears. All right, so what does that mean for us and for our energy? Generally, you do need to know where Capricorn is in your chart, but on the other hand, what we need to understand is that this energy is going to kind of pull us in. It's going to kind of pull the reins in. It's an opportunity to reflect, to ask yourself questions about your life. Where are you trusting yourself and where are you not? Where are you standing up to your energy? Where are you giving your power away? All of these things is, as that Jupiter energy starts to shift is going to come in and understand a little bit better for you how you can reflect on your life what did work this year and even many people are looking at the decade all right that's also a big controversy is this the end of the decade or is next year the end of the decade let me know what you think post below is this the end this year or is it next year all right little controversy there as well nevertheless it's a great time to start reflecting on your year what did happen what did work what can you bring forward and that's where that jupiter energy can help you to really Open up, trust your energy, trust your work, stand up for who you are. Now, the thing about this energy coming up with Jupiter and Capricorn, Saturn's already there. So Saturn and that Saturn energy is kind of that responsibility. So the thing is, is that this year as we move forward, reach out to what your goals are. And we're going to have you like set the longer term. All right. We're not going to have a lot of those quick fixes and quick shifts and quick changes, but we do want to set the energy up. Now, as you go to set that energy up, what is the long term? What are the steps you can take? That's some of that Saturn energy that's going to help you get organized. And then you begin to work through it step by step. And we're going to see this carrying right into January as well. All right, so it's a really great time to take this time. We have 21 days until the end of fall. All right, 21 days is a great opportunity to each day offer gratitude. Gratitude for your lessons. That's what this season is about. Good, bad, or indifferent. Don't judge it. 
honor it, honor the lessons, what did you learn, and where can you take that forward into this next year coming up for you? And that's really what this whole week is all about because the shift starts tomorrow, it's gonna catch up with that Saturn energy, we're gonna start to feel, even if you don't know astrology, that's okay. But you are going to start to feel the energy pulling you in. The days are getting shorter, so we have all that influence as well. But you may feel inclined to kind of take a little step back. Look at your life. What's going on? And that's exactly the energy as we move through this week. Now, as you start the week, we all know going back to work on Monday after a holiday weekend is kind of rough, kind of hard, you know, right? Back to that energy of work, work, and all that. But see if you can ease into it. See if you can slow down, because that is definitely the theme, slowing down to observe your life. And that's really what we want to work on this year, all right? I mean, this month, as we move through into the next year, slowing down, observing your life, understanding what has been going on. And as you move through these next 21 days, right into the winter solstice, every day, offer gratitude for something. I'm going to be posting in the Empowered Spirit Circle, so come over and post as well. What are you grateful for? And let that energy lift your vibration, all right? Gratitude's an ascending emotion. Let it ascend, let it raise you up, let that consciousness rise so that you can begin to start your new year off feeling really empowered and really good and really trusting your own spirit, all right? And that is really the energy that we're gonna look at. We do move into an eclipse later in the month, all right? And those eclipses, they always kind of stir things up. But before we get there, really important part is to start to do your work. So for me, I think it's really great, and I always like to offer is journal. Write down these things. Write down these gratitudes. Write down what you've been working on all year, and that's going to help you make some decisions, make some ideas, make some suggestions about the year ahead. All right, so that's really the focus. I know tomorrow as you go back to work, it might be a little tiresome. It might be a little hard. If you're traveling, I know up in the Northeast, oh, my gosh, we got out in time. We did. We got home last night. So Saturday, we traveled, all my kids, right? Later and later, but they got home as well. So maybe you are stuck in some of the travel. So today was a beautiful day up in the sweat lodge, and it really was. And the thing, the message that came forward, so beautiful, just to sit with Mother Earth and feel all those elements, especially after rushing around in New York City, just pulling it all home for me. The message really was, it's not about me. It's about the work I do to offer service to help others as well. So where in your life can you be of service as well? Where can you spread that knowledge, that information, that some of that expansion energy that we just came up to? And now where can you open up and recognize that we're all in this together? Where can you share? Jackie, I see you're here. You say this year, Jackie, you shared a beautiful post with all those that have been your teachers, your helpers. Thank you. You included me. That's the energy I'm talking about. Beautiful post today. And that's what we want to do. We want to open up and just remember that this work that we do we're helping each other. We're connecting sister to sister, brother to brother. We're really helping each other and lifting each other up, all right? It's not a competition. We're in this together. We're all moving through these shifts and changes. And that was really the message, the beautiful message of the Sweat Lodge today. Really awesome, sweating and feeling all the elements of life coming in. And I felt good. The year hadn't been an easy year, but you know what? We got through it. We moved through it. I did, and so can you. And that's where we reach out and help each other. And that really is a message as we move into this month. We're going to be through some changes. We're moving out of 2019 into 2020. Lots of change ahead. But the thing that is going to come forward is that we have to do this in a more methodical way. All right? We have to do a little bit of planning. Yes, laws of attraction are very important. But it's not just like, oh, angels, bring me what I need. <laughs> right? We all wish it was. But it's working with that high vibration and then doing the other part, doing the logical, doing some of those other step-by-step -step processes that we have. So finding those long-term goals for you and knowing that as you move through this year, the end of the year into next year, this is what you start to work on. Having that patience for yourself as well. You can have a lot of aha moments, you can have a lot of energy come forward and that's what you wanna look for. But we're all in this together, reaching out and helping each other, helping one another, sharing that vibration. All right, so let's just take a moment and pull your energy in. It's Sunday night, end of the holiday weekend. So wherever you are, if you can, let it go. Release out. Take a nice deep inhale. Pulling your energy in, calling in all that energy. Calling in your higher self and start to feel the alignment coming in. Pull the aura in from all the many places. I know for me, it was a great week all around. So I just pull the energy in, calling in my spiritual body. 
Taking another deep inhale and exhale. Feel yourself settling in. Bringing in that gratitude for your life right now. Feel that energy. Embody that gratitude. Something, the beautiful sunset tonight, whatever it may be for you, your life, your path. As we call in our masters, our teachers, the archangels, calling in your higher self, aligning that energy as we open up to these shifts and changes that are ahead of all of us. And the medicine wheel, just like we had in the lodge today, we open up with the energy of the West. The West is that season that we are in now, the season of gratitude, of looking at our life, of harvesting all that energy. The sun is setting. We take that energy in, anchoring in all the directions for guidance and protection this week, pulling your energy in to the West, the North, the East, and the South. Above us, below us, pulling in right into the very center, pulling in right into your heart, setting your intention for this week, and just embody that energy for you. How will you feel? Joyous, happy, alive, peaceful. Embody that energy for your intention. And allow that energy just to permeate out through your energy. Inhaling and exhaling. Opening up to that intention that you have set. Embodying the energy for you. And then just allow it to spread out, out into the world as you hold that focus for you. No attachment, but hold that vibration, hold that energy as you move through this week. Inhaling. As you exhale, release the stress and the overwhelm, letting go of all the holiday craziness, but holding on to the energy of the heart, the love, the family, all that you cherish, holding that energy right there in the heart. Let that lead you through this week. Inhaling and exhale. Really important to slow down. Let this be a start to slowing down. Good. And just starting to bring the awareness back, feeling that shift of energy, feeling yourself a little more focused. Again, pulling the energy in. Inhaling and exhaling. Bringing the awareness back. Opening the eyes, coming back. All right. So everybody, thank you for joining me. We'll look at the cards now. If you have a question you'd like to ask, pose your question if you'd like a card. But first, we'll look at the card for guidance for this week for all of us. So the first card is really a great card. It's the Three of Pentacles. All right, so sometimes the first thing people see is the mountain. Like, oh, the mountain is in front of me. I'll never get over. But that's not really what this card is about. The Three of Pentacles shows the alignment of the work that you've done, all right? Great, exactly what we're talking about. Look at your work, all right? Pentacles is our money. That is our earth. And it really matches reflection of that mountain. So, yes, we have had hard work. For many of us, this has been a challenging year. But this allows us to recognize the connections we have made and the faces of our life and the people of our life and the relationships of our life and recognizing that part of it is that community. We're all in this together together. And that's how we move those mountains. That's how we get over those hurdles. So take a step back, all right? In the traditional deck we, deck, we see the people taking a step back and looking at what they've accomplished. And that's exactly what this card is. How you work together, how you work in community, and what those accomplishments are for you right now. So take a step back as you move through this week. Make those to-do lists of what's working and what's not, all right? If you chose card number one, this is always an interesting card. This is the Five of Swords. So this card is really kind of about cutting yourself off. It's a self-sabotage card in many ways. And remember, fives is conflict and change, but our swords, it's of the mind. All right, so where are you getting in your way? And sometimes when that Jupiter isn't stationed right or aspected right to who you are, or you're working against it, this is what happens. We cut ourselves off. We limit our beliefs. We really don't work with the energy moving forward. But yet, see, it's like an earthworm. We cut ourselves off, and we can feel very disjointed. So this is the opportunity to ask yourself, where am I cutting myself off? All right, again, this is that energy we talked about at the beginning, like where can you believe in yourself better? Where can you open up to all those possibilities in your life? Not tucking yourself out of it, all right? Really getting out of the chatter of the mind. Swords is our mind. All right, we all go through changes, that's okay. So finding the ability to let go of the ego and open up. All right, if you chose card number two, I love this. This is the hanged man. This is our major arcana for this week. So this is the opportunity for you to take a step back, 
Have patience with your life. All right, put your feet up the wall. Slow down, all right? I know you all say, oh, we have too much to do. It's the holidays. I can't slow down. Slow down. You'll find you will have more time, all right? This also reminds us, especially in her deck and her drawings and Kim's drawings here, the bat. The bat uses different radar. So where can you tune in and look at things from a different perspective? Have patience with your life, all right? And again, that's some of that switch in that Jupiter into Capricorn energy, all right? We want to do that. We want to switch it up. We want to slow down a little bit. Capricorns can be a little bit more like conservative, I would say, earth energy, whereas the, the Sagittarius had that fire, expanse energy. So we're going to be asked to look at things in a different perspective. Really great advice as we move through this month and this week. All right, the third card, these are like finding those aha moments when you are in alignment, all right? This is the eight of wands. Wands is your passions, your desires. Where are things lining up? Look how it makes this beautiful sacred geometry. Look at the lightning bolt. So these are those aha moments, all right? And these are when things can shift for you. It's not going to be necessarily like a big, huge change, but it could be subtle, like you get it. Like you look at your life and you realize where it's working and it's not. And these are those aha, we go, okay, I see. I can make those shifts, all right? I love this card. Eights are also about the prosperity and the abundance, even affluence in your life, all those many things that you can bring in to create that passion and desire at a greater level, all right? And all of this is going to help you as you move through and start to look at the work week for yourself or work, look at actually the year for yourself and understand more of what is going on for you. Step back. Do that action work of recognizing the relationships, the community. Know that we're all in this together. Don't let the mind get to you. All right, recognize it's just that self-sabotage. You talking yourself, cutting yourself off. Look at life from a different perspective. Put the feet up. Slow down. Use that inner radar to understand more of your life. Look for those aha moments. Look for that expansion of aha, of, of abundance, of prosperity. Look how your passions are lining up for you and that sacred geometry of your own life. All right, so we do have some great cards. They definitely reflect the energy for this week. We want to take that reflection of our life. We want to go on that journey and understand more of what it is we can bring forward as we move into this new decade, all right? I'm kind of of the thought that this is a new decade, 2020. Some people will say the opposite. Personal choice. I looked it up. I did. All right, so take a nice deep inhale and exhale out. All right, hip scientist Kate says she is applying to grad school the next month and she would love a card. All right, I'm going to draw a few cards. If you have a questions like that, please do post them and let's see what's going on. All right, I did have a new episode this week on the Empowered Spirit Show, and it's about art and creativity with Gabriella Masarla. She has a great book out. If you're looking for a gift for someone, check it out. All right, the podcast can be found on terryannhyman.com or all your favorite podcast apps. Follow me to get the latest, all right? Also, coming up, so much going on in December for me, all the rest of the activities for this year, 12-2, Reiki 2 is coming up. If you've taken Reiki 1, come join us for Reiki 2. That's on this Saturday, actually. Wow. All right, 12-12, I'm going to be over at Beacon Yoga for a full moon circle. Really great, vibrant day, very powerful with the 12-12 energy. We have a great time over there with Bailey and Dawn. Come join us at Beacon Yoga. And then I have on 1214, I'm going to have the Winter Vibes, Sound and Restorative Yoga, Color and Light over at Birmingham Yoga. And then we're going to get ready for the Winter Solstice. I'm going to do a little early on the 18th with Jennifer Dunbar from Harvest Moon. So, so many activities, so many great ways to align your energy to get ready for the year ahead. So come join us. You can find all that information on my website, naturalforcesstudio.com. All right, Kate, I'm going to start with you. Mindy has asked for a card as well. Let me know if you want one. All right. Kate, grad school. The hermit. All right. So, Kate, this is all about shining your own light. This is all about you going within, pulling your energy in, knowing what that light is. And it's a great card for grad school because it's going to take that inner resources to get through all that schoolwork, right? But this is going to help you shine even brighter to who you are. So, very positive card. I find it's reinforcing that decision that you've made. Yay, congratulations on that. Good luck. All right, M. Solomita, you're next after Mindy. And then Mayor, hey, Mayor, you're after that. All right. So, Mindy, this is a card for you. I don't see a question, but this is some general guidance for this week. All right, Mindy, this is the Son of Wands. So this is about tapping into that, 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 um, 
purpose and that passion in your life. Look at that energy. Look at the snake. So there is some transformation coming. Look at how it reaches up and that fire of color comes forward. So Mindy, what is it you want to do in your life? Have some of that innocence of the kind of that male innocence, right? Of that passion, that desire, putting it forward and being really strong in what it is you do want to see in the changes. A little bit more stronger perhaps than you've been. Look how beautiful that card is. Transformation. All right, M. So let me, this one's for you. Here we go. All right, you got this before and you're getting it again, I do believe. Ace of Pentacles. So this is like new beginnings, all right? New beginnings in your physical surroundings, new beginning in your work as well. So there are things brewing for you, so just keep doing what you're doing and building on that energy. I think we did get that. Let me know if we got that before, all right? I love it, though. These are always new and refreshing cards when you get that ace. You're at a beginning, so we let go of the rest. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, Mayor, card for you. Mayor, is it snowing in Boston? All right, and you got the 10 of pentacles. How funny. Marissa got the one, you got the 10. So the 10s are like completion and beginning again, all right? A good card for the end of the year as well. But just looking at everything is lining up. So again, this is a good opportunity for you to review your life. I know you made some big changes with, with your work and going back to school and all of that for yourself. So really, really, really gratitude. Offer gratitude for all those changes. Things are definitely Lining up for you, especially in the physical form. All right, great card. All right, Ashley, Bindi Brown Lady, let's do it. All right, Son of Cups. All right, so this is about loving. This is about looking at that intuitive energy. This is a little bit more bringing in some of that male energy. All right, lots of times we talk about intuition and the heart and love. We talk about the feminine side. But this is more about bringing in some of that masculine energy. All right, being that having that ability to reflect back to you. Look how the background is. Look how the lines come in. And look how the cup is right there. So loving yourself really in a more outward way is kind of what this card suggests at this time for you. All right, so how can you do that for yourself? What are some of the steps you can do? I know Reiki's a great way to do that, and you've been learning that. So keep that up. This is a great confirmation. And know that that energy of the swan is coming forward. That's going to last for a long time. All right, we did. Yes, I thought that was so. All right, yay, thank you. All right, Tina Gardner, over here on Facebook, I will offer a card for you. If I have skipped you over here on Instagram, let me know. Come back and ask for another card. All right, we got the strength card. All right, Tina, this is a great card. This is to remind you having that strength to step forward. All right, I also love it. Look at the infinite possibilities. Look at the way he's got the rose in his mouth. All right, there's that both sides of the coin there. All right, so having the courage to step forward, yet having the gentleness of life. All right, this is a great for card to give you strength to move through any situation you may be going through. Know that that inf infinite potential is out there for you. Have the courage to move forward, all right? Sometimes what we fear is harder than what is actually going on. All right, all right. Anybody else did I miss? Hey, Attitude, good to see you. Yep, snowing in Boston. All right, stay warm up there. We definitely got out of New York in time. All right, I think I got everybody. If I missed anybody, let me know. Definitely check out all the events going on. Definitely find time for you to align with yourself and the energy of what is going on for you. Really important that we do that. All right, lots of shifts are coming, especially as we move to the end of the year and out into the new beginnings, all right? Jackie, I didn't draw a card for you. I don't know if you're still on, but I'm going to draw one now. I appreciate what you offered this morning. The star, this is for you, Jackie. All right, you do have a shining star out there. Just look up, and it is there guiding you all the time. Great hope card. All right, that's for you, Jackie, my friend. I was there in New York with you last week. All right, guys, I think we got everybody. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Be sure to check out the podcast. Some great information. Got some great guests coming up to, to really ride us out to the end of the year. Find the time. Come join us at Birmingham Yoga, Beacon Yoga over at Practice 2 as well. Lots of things going on to help us tie up the year, appreciate our life, and offer gratitude for all the many things. Come over to the group. Post some gratitude statements for you as you move through these last part of this fall and into the winter. Thanks again for joining me. Thank you so much. Have a great week. To your spirit, namaste.